Hey guys, I know it may be surprising to hear my actual voice, but I just thought this would be the respectful way to do it instead of the text-to-speech voice. So this is a video that I really wish I didn't make, but I knew it was going to come eventually, even if my channel doesn't revolve around them. I just had to make this video so it could help. So in case you guys didn't know, I had a dog named Rusty who kind of got a little sick with what we think was cancer and it was completely covering him to the point he could barely eat, breathe, and overall just changed him. These couple of weeks have been really hard since we just moved into our new official house instead of renting another one and this happened all of a sudden like it didn't really occur until a couple of days into our new house and it really broke me when I was told that he might have had cancer. We tried to give him the best days we could by giving him his favorite snacks, taking him for a ride in his doggy pram and giving him all our love and attention. But it just got worse as the days passed. It still hurts me that I could have done more for him. And this morning, I was awoken up by my dad who told me to come downstairs to see my mum. And when I did, she told me that Rusty was going to get put down since his pain was getting too much for him to handle. I was a little shocked when I heard, but I knew this was coming, so I had to at least stay strong about this. And during the rest of the day, me and my family sat with him in the lounge room, comforting him and giving him all the love and attention we could. And when the time came that my dad and a friend had to take him to the pet place to put him down, we wrapped him in, up in his favorite blanket and me, my mom and my sister stood around him and gave him kisses and said one final goodbye. And once they returned, I just stayed in my room, I didn't come out. I didn't get to see him get buried in our backyard. I do have a window view of his grave, so I, at least I can say good morning to him whenever I wake up and look out the window. At least he's now resting in his new home, a home we took forever to achieve and he made it. I'm so glad he put in such an effort to come this far to his new home and after 15 ye almost 15 years, he finally got it and can f rest knowing he found his true home. This is one of the hardest things I've ever had to deal with in my life. He was one of my first pets I've ever had when I was younger. He meant so much to me and my family. He always found ways to make us laugh or make us feel better. He had a charm to him. I wouldn't just consider him a dog. He was a friend, a brother, a buddy, a buddy who was always around when I was feeling down at the dumps or just wanted to hang out with his bro. I may have lost a buddy, but heaven has gained a prince. I want to thank you guys for being there and telling Rusty how much you guys love him and say how cute he is. Even if he wasn't shown on my channel often, but that's okay. At least he won't be forgotten. Now, before I end this video, I just wanted to share a clip I took of him the night before he was put down. 
I was going to post it last night, but something told me I had to wait. And I saved this for you all to see. Rusty, we love you. And we miss you. I'll never forget you. Wherever you are. fitting Matthew's description had done so recently. The evidence was mounting against the bomber, but agents still had no idea where he was. 